affordable autopilot for experimentals on this episode of Taking Off. Hey everyone, I'm Dan Milliken. We're sponsored by Gold Seal, groundschool.com, and Wingfield Aviation, your go-to airplane maintenance. We're continuing our series post Oshkosh on the great interviews we had during our week at AirVenture. One in particular was getting to talk with makers of an affordable autopilot system, a trim tab autopilot at Level. We are at the Level booth and full disclosure, I love these guys. I had them on in the hangar. You might remember and might have seen that episode. They did give me a bomb that I am in the process now that finally Lola is flying. I'm in the process of reviewing, and I'll have that review for you shortly. But Ananda, you're back on camera yes. for us. We are here at Air Venture. <laughs> you guys have made a big new announcement. Can you tell me about it? Yes. So here at the show yesterday, we announced a trim tab autopilot. Um, are you familiar with trim tab yes. autopilot? Yes. Yes. So very simple. Well, okay. But for those who don't know trim tab autopilot, explain what that means. Yes. So basically, we um, instead of um, installing big bulky servos to the controls. Um, we install a little trim tab and a little RC servo, the you know radio control servos. Um, and we ha we're showing here different installations. So okay, so it's not like you get all this on one installation. No, you get one trim tab on your aileron and one trim tab on your elevator, okay. and that gives you basically control, full control of Over roll and pitch. Yeah. But not rudder. Not rudder. Not yet. Right now we have only those two okay. axes, and also the altitude uh, control. So essentially with the bomb or the eye level um, we have all the calculations that we need here like the ahars we have a gps we have the input for the airspeed and now we added all the algorithms for for an autopilot so basically when you connect an, a little rc servo to the eye level we provide the power to the servo and we provide the signal to the servo to keep you level uh, to um, follow a heading, to follow a flight plan, and everything is done through a smartphone or your tablet. So you don't. So show me how that works. So I have the eye level here connected. I have my leaf blower putting some airflow into the aileron, and you can see as the plane is tilting, the trim tabs are going to try to maneuver the airplane. Uh, so I have 250 uh, selected here, and depending on what I do it's going to try to compensate for that. Wow, amazing. Okay, question. So, it's all being co connected through iPads I, you know, and phones, uh, and I know through iFly you can use Android devices and everything else, and they're going to a little ro radio controlled motor. Is, is there any concern about reliability on those kind of signals rather than hard lines and things like that? Um, so, it's, I mean, you, you, you are still connected via a wire, Okay. It's actually more beneficial because you can override this autopilot. Uh, we're not, you know, tied into your control system. So if you want to, you know, if there's something wrong, you can still um, uh, override it. You have a switch on the panel. You can uh, basically turn off the servos and the trim tab will neutralize. You can use this as your trim system. So you can trim on your iPad, you know, for pitch if you want to do that but if there is something wrong and you know the servo stops working or whatever this is just going to go to neutral and that's it is this only for experimental or is this for uh, certified aircraft it's only for experimentals okay the, so you can't put this on a certified no uh no not not as okay. of today no <laughs> not yet but not, are you guys working yet. on that maybe maybe we uh they make it hard on you guys don't they yeah uh it's, uh, there's a lot of things uh, and steps that we need you know, to get to the certification. But right now, we're very excited for light sport and experimental. It's a game changer for autopilots. I mean, it's very yep. easy. This, yeah. this is a, a peel and stick solution wow. that you have here. You can mount the servo uh, a little bit farther away so that it balances the, uh, 
the way. The aileron, yep. If you do this installation, then you have to put a little bit of weight here to balance uh, the aileron. And this, uh, it's sort of classified, but since we're on camera, I guess not anymore. <laughs> um, you're familiar with the bomb. Right. It has so you've got a mini bomb in there. Yes. Yeah, so wow. This would be basically a wireless um, trim tap solution. This provides enough wow. power to the servo, and that way you don't have to uh, wire anything to the cockpit. Wow. So this one would communicate with the bomb, and these guys would communicate with the eye level. Okay, so if I have an experimental or light sport aircraft, what is this going to put me out? Um, the the eye level AP and the two trim tabs and the wiring harness and everything goes for twenty five hundred, I think. Twenty five hundred dollars is 2, all. Two thousand five hundred, and we have a show special, so it goes. Like so you can get a complete autopilot system for twenty five hundred dollars. Not just an autopilot; it's a glass cockpit because remember. Oh, because we you get all you get ADS, the A receiver, and everything else. you have wow. the GPS, everything, and now. It's basically um, a one thousand dollar addition to make it an autopilot. Wow, that's amazing, Ananda! Thank you so much for spending some no, time with us. No, thank you for coming here. I'm still waiting on that bomb review. So I know. We'll I just I just flew for it for the first time. I finally got my plane in the okay. air. Good, good, so good. Uh, I'm working it. Okay. All right, cool. Thanks, everybody.